What this neighborhood means to me is everything. This neighborhood taught me what life is. Gelato makes happy people. So I want to make people happy. From here, you can go anywhere. The first thing to make your dream come true is to take yourself out of your way. I'm still like Dorothy on the yellow brick road. Like, you know, I'm just as happy every day when I come in here. The process of making the ice cream is to, first and foremost, keep it as simple as possible. So I use milk, cream, sugar, eggs, salt, and then I add natural ingredients from there on. Just staying with those humble ingredients gives you such great taste and flavor. And so that's why I've never strayed from keeping it as simple as possible. Well, the journey to getting Mikey Lights and Ice Cream on the map is hard work, dedication, perseverance, persistence, taking a good idea and continue working it until it's perfect, which nothing can be perfect, you know. As a child, I always had some sort of hustle mentality to myself. Throughout the years, I had an Aunt Lucy, and I would have to actually go to cooking class with her after school, because my parents were at work, and that's where I started learning how to cook. And then my aunt passed, and when she passed, I was cleaning up the apartment. I found like a book that had her recipe that she would just have in there, and one of them was a vanilla ice cream recipe. When I decided that night, I was like, hey, let me try to make vanilla ice cream. And I didn't have any ice cream machine, anything. I just gave it a shot and it was really bad. And I was just like, I can do better than this, you know? So I ended up uh, doing some research, went to Bed Bath & Beyond, bought a Cuisinart tabletop machine. I ordered different types of vanillas that I was looking at online. And then all of a sudden, it started to work. The machine was making the better ice cream. I was able to pair different vanillas together. And then vanilla was born. What goes on in my head when I develop recipes, really just energy. What I do is I put music on of the talent that I'm thinking of, and I just let it go. And as I'm thinking of the flavor, I just let it come to me. And as I taste, you know, it's a feeling thing. So as you feel good and you taste something good, you're like, all right, cool. The role pop culture plays is everything. Pink Floyd was born through the concept of thinking of New York. When you look at New York, what's synonymous with New York? Cheesecake. So I went down to Junior's one day and got a strawberry cheesecake. My mind was blown and I was like, wow, this is fresh strawberries on top of a great cooked cheesecake. So I was like, that gotta be the strawberry here. To be honest, I'm a kid who just thought having a cart was good enough. This whole community that we're building with ice cream is really a way to fill a void a problem in life for some people. So I went to jail for six months. It was bittersweet, because you think that, you know, you don't realize what happens to those that really love you, and you really hurt them by being away. You can never make up that time. But the one thing you can do is play catch up. So this is our catch up here. You know, this is my catch up, you know, just making sure that everyone that comes to the door is treated with love because they show us love being here. What this neighborhood means to me is everything. This neighborhood taught me what life is. We saw mom and pop shops growing up in this neighborhood. This is the land of mother and father shops. Families who set up something and they hope that people enjoy it. That's where I've gotten like the whole concept to show other kids in the neighborhood. This is a small situation and from here you can go anywhere. As long as you can own your craft, that's why I try every day to stay in tune with the people to see what they want, because they're the ones who push us to be the best we can be. Things can go great and things can go just as bad. Stay positive and keep people in the right direction, let's say. Music drives us. You're upset. You put on something, it changes your mind and it lifts you up, gives you some self-esteem. It's something that brings life to people. The history that we have to teach. A lot of kids right now, some of them don't know the musicians from the past. And for us, it's to keep that always going, to pay homage to those who actually started the whole pop culture situation. Opening the ice cream store 
was a peaceful situation for myself and it makes me feel like my aunt is in the kitchen with me. She always stressed doing good, you know, and helping people. So that's the whole quality of what this is about and using ice cream as the tool, the medium, the message to get it across. Food is the language that is universal between everyone. But ice cream to me, no pun intended, was the best ice breaker with someone. And so when my aunt passed and I found a vanilla ice cream recipe, that to me was like, wow, if I have such peace with just this simple thing, how many other people can do the same? Gelato is art. A new signature flavor is like a paint or a sculpture. It's something that comes from your soul. I mean, it's something that comes from inside you. It's where you put all your love. Gelato is still is something new in the United States. Ice cream uh, is made mainly with heavy cream, while gelato is a balanced mix of uh, milk, skill milk powder, a little bit of heavy cream. It means that gelato has less calories and less fat, contains less air compared to ice cream, and is served at a higher temperature. The first step to make gelato is prepare the base. There are different uh, approach to make this. I make a base that is good for every gelato. And then when you batch the gelato, you take part of the meat base and then you add chocolate paste and then you batch them together and it comes gelato. I grew up eating gelato, of course. In Italy, uh, we had a small gelato machine at home. I had my job in Milano. In Milano, I was an insurance broker. And when I turned 40, I decided that was not more my cup of tea. At the time, I said, OK, you make good money, and you have to do something in your life. The reason is gelato makes happy people. So I want to make people happy. I learned how to make gelato. At Gelato University in Bologna. It's interesting because 90% of students that I met there were people that want to change life. They founded this organization for people that want to make a change and help you to make this change. It was fun and I like it. Gelato is like bread. I mean, the day that you make the bread and that the day that you buy the bread at the baker because they just made it is amazing. That's why we are focused on making small batches but producing gelato every single day. We want to let people know the difference between gelato and ice cream and I want to let them taste what is a real gelato made with premium ingredients. To me it's very important where the ingredients come from. To me it's very important to research every day for new ingredients with high quality. It's not my kitchen, it's my lab. I spend most of my days in the lab, producing gelato and developing new recipe for next season. It's chemistry is balancing the ingredients. Sometimes I get inspiration from simple things. We do uh, gelato, I think, top quality of gelato, using only natural ingredients. Uh, we don't use any coloring agent uh, or artificial flavoring. Justo in this contest means done it right, in the right way. I think that will live up with the name of Gelato Justo. My first trip to New York City, I was five years and a half. My father worked for an American company, so I had the chance for many years to come to the United States. I started to love the city, and one day, one of my dreams was to move to New York City. This is 
a family neighborhood and we, are, we have a lot of returning customers that they hang out at night or after school, they bring them, they have their kids here. And there was family come here and the kid was very grumpy and then I convinced him, okay, get the usual strawberry and vanilla and suddenly his mood changed totally. I asked the father, so the cure works, the gelato makes people happy and he said yes. My name is Lorenzo Franchetti, I'm a gelato chef. I want to make people happy. It's something that comes from your heart, it's something that comes from your soul. It's where you put all your love. Just get out there. All the stuff that you have against yourself, let that go for a second. And just be the best that you can and you'll see what happens. Good can happen. Bad can happen, but if you're willing to accept it and grow from it, only greatness will be achieved.